Right, here we are at Dove Lake Car Park, ready to uh, depart on our walk to photograph the Fagus up at Cradle Mountain. Um, we can't actually see anything out there at the moment, so we're just waiting in the car until it uh, eases off a bit before we head out. But yeah, lots of snow. Lots of snow. So hopefully um, when it does clear, we'll get some photos. So Sam's joined me and we're basically going to go up to a little tarn that we uh, really like and it's surrounded by Fagus. So um, hopefully it'll clear and we'll be able to get some shots there. And then tomorrow we'll head down on the track towards Scott Kilvert Hut and from there we're going to go and visit a couple of little tarns that are s allegedly surrounded by Fagus, somewhere I haven't been before and neither Sam. So that's going to be interesting. It's on the slopes of Cradle Mountain. It's not all co totally covered with snow. Exactly. A bit, and more, then a bit more snow than anticipated. The following day I think Sam's got to head back on Tuesday to Hobart. I'll stay up here for another day and then on Wednesday I'm going to come out and drive down the west coast and attempt to go into the Tyndalls and see what the Fagus is like there and then home to Hobart on Friday. So that's the plan. Like all our trips, sometimes the plans get a little no. bit awry. Just but, little. yeah. We'll give it our best shot. Yeah, what can you say? Here we are. Yeah, you don't have to be crazy, but it very much helps. You wonder why you're going to do this and... At the moment, yeah, I'm still wondering. But it'll be fun. It'll be worth it once we get there. It'll be good. We might even if we end up down at either the Ranger Hut or Scott Calvert Hut. We could well depending on the weather. There, yeah. Depending on the snow, but no, nah, it'll be good. So anyway, we'll try and get some uh, images along the way and some video. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty bad out there. So we'll see. Ciao for now. Lovely weather. If you're mad to be out, no, it's all good. What's that one down there? Uh, is it Lake Hanson? We'll soon find out later. Just on the back of Hanson's Peak, we're not just about there. A little bit of snow coming in. A little bit. Just a sheltered lunch spot. Whoa! Uh, not really worth talking, is it? <laughs> no, that was just a, a slight wind gust. Our campsite for the night. Hopefully it doesn't blow too much. A good test of the tents. <laughs> well, it will be. What time did we get here? Half past two. So three hours from the car. Just too bad this night. Good morning. It's um, seven thirty. Still tent bound. Um, it was a very blowy night, but we both slept through it. And today, given the forecast, because we've got reception up here, we thought we might head to Scott Kilvert Hut um, and uh, hopefully photograph a bit of the Fagus en route if it stops raining, which it has at the moment, because a lot of the snow has melted overnight, so it must have been quite mild. So that'll make for more easier walking. And it will also expose the Fagus bushes, which were pretty much covered yesterday in snow. So yeah. 
a very breezy campsite, but um, happy with the uh, way the tent performed after guying all the ropes out. So yeah, that's it for now, and uh, probably do some more footage en route to uh, Scott Kilgore. Okay, found a bit of a uh, sheltered gully here where the Vegas hasn't been blowing away completely like other spots. So yeah, we'll come back here in a couple of days and get some shots on my way out. Yeah, <laughs> Reed's happy. Yeah, it's pretty uh, specky. Obviously the weather as you can see is totally, uh, well, overcast, rain, massive winds, probably about 40 to 50 kilometres an hour. Um, yeah, we're in this nice little shelter spot, but yeah, the Fagus is really going off. It's really good. I'll try and take some snaps in a sec. Uh, no chance for the real photography today. It's, um, yeah, it's just a super... Yeah, perfect. Have a look at this. There's Reed. Checking out some of his spots. Look at that hill, full of fagus, right in its prime. Still a bit more to go till it gets red. Awesome. Beautiful. So excited, this is the first time ever I have right beside the track seen red fagus and the yellow buttery gold. Absolutely sensational. The times you see the red, very few and far between. Yeah, just magic. I walked straight past it, Sammy spotted it, well done. Quarter past two, Scott Kilvert Hut. Bit of snow out there at the moment, not settling on the ground though. But um, yeah, and uh, sorry for the darkness in here, but um, just wanted to show everyone the coal fired stove, which is most welcome on a snowy day, I can tell you. Yeah, and yeah. there's the light coming into the hut. Yeah, it's a bit of a dark and gloomy hut, but uh, on a day like today, it's uh, heaven on a stick. This is the memorial plaque to Scott and Kilbert, who died in a blizzard back here in 1965. That's the reason the hut was built, as a memorial to them. There's uh, quite a bit of literature in the hut for people to read about exactly what happened with the school party and the deaths that occurred which makes for very interesting reading. So yeah, we're just uh, watching the snow. The camera's probably not picking up Cradle, which is directly up there, the summit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's been a bit of a cold day, but not very pleasant. To say the bloody least. <laughs> yeah. Would uh, Sam like to say something to camera? No, not really. <laughs> Just glad we're actually in a hut instead of the tents. We'll be far more comfortable tonight than it was last night. Yes, it was a little bit breezy. Reed got a very concerned about his one-poled tent surviving the catabatic winds that were assailing our campsite. But uh, I borrowed a tent peg from Sam and Reed had rigged 
jigged my uh, guy ropes and made them as taut as I've ever been and that seemed to do the trick so yeah no dramas. That's all for now but I think we're going to head back to the fire and um, talk more photography stuff and uh, other general chit chat. Okay, what are we, day three? Yep. Just leaving the Scott Kilbert hut. Uh, i am uh, got to hit a homework tomorrow, so I'm gonna go up and over Hanson's Peak back into Dove Lake. Should take me about three and a half hours, I think, with this weather and snow. Still, well, there's Cradle Mountain behind us. Yeah, yep, yeah, you, can, you can see what we're looking at, nothing. So anyway, yeah, that's me for the day. I've enjoyed the trip. It's been pointless in regards to photography, really, because we haven't got the cameras out, but that's just the way it goes, the way the cookie crumbles road. So, um, yeah, another focus trip that haunts me. So, <laughs> so uh, that's, my, that's my time here done. Uh, Reid, what are you up to? I'm going to head up the back of the hut here to Linden Tarns when the mist lifts a bit and uh, check out the focus, see what it's like. If it's good, I'll camp up there. If not, I'll uh, head back to uh, where we spent the first night because at least the focus around the lake there is good and the forecast is reasonable for tomorrow. So here's hoping. Right, made it to uh, Linden Tarns, took me an hour and 15 minutes to get up from Scott Kilbert hut up to here. Uh, yeah, relatively straightforward, just a couple of little steepish rock sections, carrying a full pack, I had to watch me footing, but yeah, nothing, nothing too serious. Apologies for the, uh, the wind, but it's just absolutely magic up here, really well worth an hour and a 15 minute walk. So anyway, I'll just go for a wander and show everyone what it looks like. I'll get the big camera out soon and get some pickies, that's for sure. But um, absolutely stunning with cradle in the background here, just blasted with snow. Looks magic. Anyway. Magnificent. Spent a fair bit of time this afternoon um, photographing waterfalls and fagus bushes. It's been absolutely magnificent. It's a bit of blue sky now. Not the optimum conditions for photographing the fagus, but yeah, a bit better than the blizzards of the last few days. So um, I'll just show you some of the fagus up here.
can't actually see it but where my finger's pointing is Linden Tarns where I went this morning. It took me an hour and a half to get up there. An absolute magic spot. I'll definitely be going back another year and spending several days. So yeah. Sorry about the wind. Sorry for the wind. Um, 20 past 5. Be dark in half an hour. Um, yeah, the Fagus up here, above where Sam and I camped the first night we were up here in the blizzard, is um, pretty much got blasted away from the storm we endured that night. So, um, yeah, here's the view anyway. Bloody freezing up here. I've got two hats on and about two uh, jumpers, two thermals, and the raincoat and the overpants. Um, <coughs> yeah, this morning's little uh, expedition to Linden Tarns was was quite something. A very special place. Um, yeah, it's taken me nearly 30 years to get there, but I got there in the end, and um, a magic spot. Uh, just smothered in Fagus and uh, Cradle Mountain Summit right above where you are. It's uh, a grandstand view from up there, so this time next year I'll be heading back and spending two nights minimum there. Um, yeah, so it's been a good day, cold, and tomorrow I'll walk out early after sunup and um, drive down the west coast to the Tyndalls. And, uh, walk up onto the range and see what the Fagus is like there. I suspect it'll be, because it is uh, exposed, it'll be uh, wind blasted like the stuff is around me here. But anyway, that's all for now. Back to the tent and into the bag and warm. Good morning. A perfect morning this morning. Very, very cold. Um, got up early and went over to the little tarn over there and got sunrise on um, Cradle. Absolutely sensational. Yeah, walking out today. Probably take a bit over an hour to get uh, back to the car and then uh, down to the Tyndalls. My little campsite just there for the night. All packed up, rearing to go. It's uh, days like these I sat at, uh, in my office in my previous life looking out the door at the blue sky thinking I know where I'd rather be and now when you're retired you can actually do that so yeah life's good sometimes not always but sometimes so yeah um, I'll take some footage of my route out because it's such a perfect day so yeah This is uh, where Sam and I camped the first night we got up here in the blizzard thinking to be sheltered behind these trees. Ha <laughs> ha! No way. It blew. But a uh, magic little spot.